So I'll take the back bolts off. I'll show it pivoting forward. Yep. And then I'll take the... I'll start with these ones. Yeah, and then it'll pivot back. Then these ones and pivot forward. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good, Emmett. So Emmett's gonna pop the bolts out of this back of the Forger XL here. So these bolts are both installed from the factory, but they don't actually need to be there. They are there, so if you don't have the clearance between your forklift and the Forager XL, it won't swing, but uh, this Manitou has a ton of clearance, so we're gonna pop them both out because this guy was saying he was running into stuff backing up. So we'll pop both the bolts out so the thing can swing forward and backwards easily, and that'll prevent any further damage to the magnet. Looks like they hit something pretty good on the other side already. There's a bend in the sleeve, but uh, taking these bolts out will prevent any additional damage. Looks like they hit something pretty good. Um, that's just from backing up stuff, backing it up into ruts and mounds in the yard. So we're gonna pop these bolts out so the thing can swing freely, and that'll uh, probably prevent some damage in the future going forward. So now we got uh, both the bolts popped out on each of the hangers. <clears throat> so Emmett, you'll give it a kick. You see it pivots forward and backwards there. So that's gonna prevent a lot of damage if you ever hit anything moving forwards or backwards because the magnet will just swing out of the way rather than be uh, held on by those big-ass bolts and probably causing damage to the sleeve if you hit something because it's not rigid anymore. It can now move out of the way, distribute the force into momentum rather than bending the aluminum. So this is just an example of the swinging motion. So you can see it swings up and out of the way and uh, that prevents any damage to the magnet. And you're not going to lose any debris even if you do this because you can see there's some stuff stuck on the front of the magnet. Uh, that's because of the wraparound function, so if you hit it forward or backwards with debris, debris, sorry, the debris gets hit forward or backwards with the ground, it'll still stick on the magnet. So now we got that pivot function out of the way, you're less likely to break anything. And you watch it goes forwards, it'll pivot hitting something else, and then return back to center. So that prevents a lot of damage to the magnet housing and the uh, aluminum sleeve. Now the aluminum sleeve is really heavy duty, but with a giant machine like this, you're capable of doing a lot of damage. So that's why we got that swinging function and also the uh, jump function, as you saw in some of the other videos on this page. So it'll jump up and out of the way if you need to as well.